I start off with the human being on stage rather than the set, and then the set evolves around it. If you have a two-hander in a, an uncluttered space, every move and every gesture says so much. So I'm extremely thrilled that it was Alex Jennings and Lindsay Duncan who were the two people who inhabited that set. The job of movement director is always very interesting. It is what's not said that holds a lot of weight. My role was helping the actors to figure out the embodiment of their characters, how they would move in the space and what the space actually meant with regards to the memories that it held. They have been married for quite a while and yes, it has changed and it has changed as his career has progressed and perhaps hers not so much. There's something not quite right. There's a loneliness and there is an emotional barrenness in there. A lot of unfulfilled hopes has to be expressed somehow in this environment. Simon Woods, the writer, was quite important to the process because he'd written the play and he knew probably that country house quite well. I think he was also encouraging this simplicity. The tension in their marriage, we see that through the way that they use the space and how they move through the space. One person might find that they feel a little bit stronger standing by the dining table, while another feels that there's more weight sitting down in the kitchen. And it's that sense of distance that we play in the space that gives us the sense of distance between the two characters. We learn things about the different props and the different pieces of furniture that are placed within the realms of the house. The dining table was almost one of the first things I made at the beginning of their marriage. It was one of the first items of furniture they bought, but it's clearly not been used often and now not at all. It was to do with their dreams when they, and, their, and their aspirations and their, and their happiness in a way. There are no photographs. There's an absence, a deliberate absence of that. There's a kind of leftover mark above the fireplace where a painting had once been, which was quite an important gesture in a way. The conversation gets very heated at times and we find that there's a release of tension by using an exit, an exit strategy. One could exit into the pantry and still be heard from the viewers, but it's a moment of release for one of the characters and for one of the actors. These separations were helped by the fact that there was actually a real place to go to backstage, like the scullery, for example. The shelves were stocked as though it was a real house. If you're far away from the stage, you, you get a total picture, quite nice for the designer, you know, because it is quite important in a way to see more than just close-up parts of space. With the live broadcast, you get both. And the closeness and the, and the close-ups is a great luxury to, to experience plays in that manner, I think. Thank you.